As of right now, Ayo Dosumu still hasn't signed his qualifying offer, Chicago Bulls. So is Ayo Dosumu really about the lead of Chicago Bulls? That's a question for today. Y'all already know I'm going to talk about it. But you got to hear the music first. Cognac, yeah. Shy Bulls Podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby, and I'm holding it down on today's daily episode for me and my co-host C-Dub. If you like what you're listening to today, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and shake that notification bell so every time we drop, you be one of the first ones to know. Now, look, we know that the Bulls gave Ayo Dosumu a qualified offer, which looks like it's going to be for $5.2 million. These type of deals... They're good for one year unless the player and the organization works out something long term. But as of right now, this is where the Chicago Bulls stand with Ayodo Sumu on the one year deal for five point two million. And to keep to be honest with you, we don't know what's going to happen with Ayodo Sumu right now. He has until October 1st to get things signed. <laughs> he could take as long as he want if we keeping it honest. And you know what I'm saying? And they, the Bulls can even extend this thing out all the way until March of next year, which I don't see happening. But that's just how these qualifying offers work. You know what I'm saying? But I would imagine this young guy, he's, he's coming into his own. You know, he played two years for the Chicago Bulls. He's developing. He's growing as a young man. He's trying to map out what's the best thing for his future, and we can't tell him what to do. Me, personally, I would love to see Ayo Dosumu back on this, you know what I'm saying, team to make it happen and to ha let him be able to redeem himself and bounce back from the year last year. And, you know what I'm saying, we look at it like that, but eh, it, 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 there was some good things. There was some bad. It was it, the, the season wasn't all bad, but it was a bit mid compared to what we've seen from the rookie season, you know what I'm saying? In year two, they do call it a sophomore slump for some players to where they run into this wall, and then they struggle a little bit, and that could have been what had happened to Ayo Dosumu. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes down to this qualifying offer, my man's got some options. <laughs> he can sign it. He can renegotiate another deal. He can sign with someone else or get traded in the signing trade. In the latter, I don't really see happening. I don't see a sign and trade coming, especially with, you know, I don't see that pretty much happening, especially with teams trying to, now teams kind of know what they're looking for. You know what I'm saying? It, there hasn't been any reports of uh, guys trying to offer Ayo Dosumu something at the moment, but that can change. Like, we have to face the reality that can change. It's just that right now, some guys may be doing their due diligence from their draft prospects. You know what I'm saying? Looking at things like that uh, and uh, seeing what they had in summer league and seeing if they still need additional help. And, and and that's what, you know what I'm saying? That's what most organizations should do or they probably are doing. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know the ins and outs of it, but hey, if I was the YouTube GM that I am, I'd be doing my due diligence. But there has definitely has to be something said because it's been it's been what? It's, it's been a couple weeks, and we still haven't heard a team try to offer Ayo Dosumu anything. It can mean something, or it can mean nothing. That's just being that's just being real about it. You know what I'm saying? And then there was a a, a report that came out from Dan Bernstein of uh six uh six seventy to score. He said that his sources believe that Ayo Dosumu is likely gone, and those sources are coming from people that are close from Ayo Dosumu. Pretty much saying that it's very unlikely that Ayo Dosumu will return to the Chicago Bulls. And man, that would be tough. <laughs> Me, honestly, I'm I know I've been on here, I've been preaching, I've been saying, hey, we gotta let get these young guys a chance. We gotta let these guys develop. Sometimes we gotta have a little bit more patience with some players more so than others. So I gotta still live up to that. What I've been saying, you know what I'm saying? Because simply Ayo Dosumu, he has great traits about him. But he also has things he can touch up on, just like any any other young player. Everybody can't come in and league and be, you know, a LeBron James or Steph Curry or Kevin Durant or anything like that. Some of these guys, they have to go through steps to even be 
role, a good, like solid role players. And we don't know what Ayodo Sumu ceiling is, well, what he will eventually be. You know what I'm saying? Everybody will have their predictions, but we don't know what he'll actually be for until another couple years in this league. You know what I'm saying? But as of right now, he he was a starter with the Chicago Bulls. We don't know if the rest of the league feels that way or if that's or if, or if it was just the Chicago Bulls. But we do know this guy has starter potential and role player potential. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because he's been a role player too because he was benched right along with Patrick Williams last season. You know what I'm saying? Because of circumstances to where the coach felt like he wasn't playing well enough and – you know, it was other guys that deserve an opportunity. That that's another topic for another day. I'm not gonna get into that. But that comment from Dan Bernstein just kind of like made me think a little bit. Like me, I understand the journalistic thing behind it, so guys can't give up their sources. So I gotta respect that there. And I'm not just gonna flat out come out and call somebody a liar. That's not how I move. If the man say he got sources that go that saying that Ayo Dosumu is unlikely to come, and it's okay, I, I'll listen to it. But I'm going to still have my own thoughts. I'm not going to flat out say somebody's a liar if I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to take that for what it really is. They didn't say it's a guarantee, though. So there's still a chance for Ayo Dosumu to return to the Chicago Bulls. You know what I'm saying? And the Bulls, they do have most of the leverage. You know what I'm saying? They do have most of the leverage. I don't see it being a situation where, like it was for Derrick Jones Jr. When Derrick Jones Jr. was pretty much coming out and saying, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, pick up my option." And then once before free agency came on, he didn't pick up the option. <laughs> and now he a free agent. You know what I'm saying? But it's definitely going to be something uh, that Ayodo Sumo is going to have to figure out what's best for him. Because if he does sign a qualifying offer, which is $5.2 million, as I previously mentioned, for one year, he can go in, he can play his tail off, and he'll be an unrestricted free agent next season. Next uh, offseason, he can do or he can renegotiate a long-term deal I don't know if that's of the plants of the Chicago Bulls before they see him do a little bit more than what he has been doing, but it's it he he has choices. He got some choices, so it's just up to him, man. And uh, me personally, it could be just something to where Ayodo Sumo is just chilling, bro. <laughs> what if he just out there working on his game, doing his thing? And I mean, it, it, I, I know that would have been you know, reports saying that teams would have made him an offer. We haven't heard that, so it, it, I wouldn't it's, – it's safe to say that probably he hasn't received that many offers. But even though th there still is some speculation that the Toronto Raptors may be interested, and I kind of see the fit there simply because they just got rid of Fred Van Vliet. But we just don't know what will happen. And Ayodo Sumo, his team could be sitting out, chilling, you know what I'm saying? And saying, bro, we got into October 1st. What are we rushing for? You know what I'm saying? It could have been something that was verbal with the Chicago Bulls. Like, hey, we're going to take our time with this. And however time we're going to take with this is just going to be the time that we take with this. And that's just what it is, like it or not. And I ain't mad at them. You got to handle your business cor correctly and think things through. Look at the pros. Look at the cons. Cause Because this is regarding his future in the NBA. Simple. Simple. You know what I'm saying? If I if if I was to make a suggestion, I know it might not matter much to him. I say go ahead and sign a qualifying offer. Go in, play your tail off for that one year, and then go get your bag. If that's with the Chicago Bulls, that's here. But if not, you can go make more money somewhere else. Like me, I I love players, and I would love to see Ayodo Sumo, one of those players, and I love to see him return to the Chicago Bulls for a long term type of thing because he's a hometown kid. But I'm never going to sit here and try to hold him back from going to get his money. So, my guy, if you come in, sign a qualifying offer for one year, and you ball out and you, you get more money somewhere else, and you feel like that's the best thing for your future, by all means, go get your money. Go get your money. Because I tell you what. It's a few, a few, a few little gigs I had left because I had to go get my money. You know what I'm saying? So go get your money. And uh, and lastly, before we get up out of here, I do know there are some Bulls fans that's gonna be like, man, Javon Freeman Liberty, he can fill in for Io. I say, look, I'm not mad at you for having that observation. I'm not mad at people for saying that Javon Freeman Liberty can come in and fill in for Ayo Dosumu. But my only question will be, what has Javon Freeman Liberty done in NBA? We've seen what he did in the Summer League. That's a different league, though. 
you take a step up to the NBA, how would Javon Freeman Liberty look then? It's just a question. I'm not saying he can't do it. So don't come out here losing your panties, getting them all up your ass. I'm just asking a simple question that most of us got to look at. If we allow Ayo to walk for Javon Freeman Liberty, are we sure that Javon Freeman Liberty will be able to step up in the absence of Ayo Dosumu and perform at or even better at that level? We don't have a de facto, we don't have a de facto answer. We can all give our predictions which I think he should be fine, Javon Freeman Liberty, that is. But we still don't know because most of us, myself, pick Ayodo Sumu to come in a year or two and take a step forward. He took a step back, in my personal opinion. So if you go ahead and you look at Javon Freeman Liberty, we're going to say, hey, what can he bring to an actual NBA team? We don't know yet. We can assume, we're gonna, we, can, we can go out here and say, hey, look what he did in Summer League. He got to the basket. He made shots inside the, you know, inside the three-point line and outside. He was able to create. He was able to get it out in transition. He stuck pretty deep. He did perform well on the defensive side of the ball. Cool. But how does that translate to the big boy leagues? It's what we still need to see. So I'm 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 really anxious to see what preseason looks like for Javon Freeman Liberty. But preseason is in October. <laughs> Io got to October 1st to pick up that qualifying offer. You know what I'm saying? So the Bulls got some decisions to make. Ayodo Sumu got some decisions to make. Well, the Bulls made their decision. They said, hey, here's the off. Ayodo Sumu, you know, you got to pick it up or work something out with the Chicago Bulls to see how it works out for both sides. But I feel like that last question was still valid. We seen Javon Freeman Liberty in Summer League compared to last year take a step forward. Can that translate to the NBA is the next question. I believe so. I believe the game matches up. But it's all in him. It's all in him. It's all in him. He has to make that translate into the big boy leagues. Because we can, we can give all the predictions that we want. But at the end of the day, he got to put it on wax. So is Ayodo Sumo really leaving? To me, I don't know. <laughs> Keep it a buck with you because you can look at it from multiple angles. I think that my guy will pick up the offer. But I honestly wouldn't be surprised if he didn't pick up the offer. So. Or if he works something out to where they just let him go. You know what I'm saying? So that's just how I look at the situation. But that's it for me today. Comment below. Do you think Ayodo Sumo is done with the Chicago Bulls? Do you think Ayodo Sumo has played his last game with the Chicago Bulls? Comment below. And before you go, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and shake that notification bell so every time we drop, you'll be one of the first ones to know. It's another episode of Shy Bulls Podcast. I'm Bobby. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one for sure. Come on, yeah. Gang.